Hello, let us try to understand how to add mixed fractions. Well, here are three examples. I will do one for you this time, okay? Now, here is the one which I like to do for you. Now, in this particular case, what should you do? Well, there are two ways to do it. One, in mixed fractions, you can add the whole numbers and then you can add the fractions. That way you can get your answer. Okay, that's one way. Second way is, you can convert this to improper fraction and then add. Let's do the second way, okay? Why second way? Because the first way has some more complications and at times when you do subtraction, it may be difficult for you. So let's learn the second way, which is first convert them to improper fraction, right? So step one for us here is, I'll leave these two for you. So for I'm writing here, so we have step one, that is, Convert to improper fraction. Okay? So how do you convert to improper fraction? Now we have 5, 1 over 2. You need to multiply 5 by 2 and then add 1. So we'll do here. So this is equal to 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. So we get 11 over 2, right? Plus, we'll do the same here. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. We get 7 over 3, right? Now, step number 2. Step number 2 here is find common denominator. Now, here, what is the common denominator? This is over 2, this is over 3. So the next common multiple is, we can find multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, and multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 6 is common, right? So we can make both as 6. So how can you make both of them as 6 with 6 denominator? You can multiply this by 3, correct? So that means what I will do? I will multiply this both by 3, right? And make it 6. How about this? We'll multiply both of them by 2 because 2 times 3 is 6, correct? So let's do that part. So 3 times 11 is 33 and 3 times 2 is 6. We get 6 here. Plus, we'll do, we'll make it 6. How? By multiplying by 2. When we multiply both numerator and denominator by the same number, Fraction remains same. They are equivalent fractions. So 2 times 7 is 14 and 3 times 2 is 6. There we go. Now they have same denominator. So you can add numerator. So now add 33 and 14. Okay. Let's add 33 and 14. So we have 33 plus 14. 4 plus 3 is 7. 3 plus 1 is 4. We get 47. So it is equal to 47 over 6. So we get our answer as a improper fraction. Correct? So step number 3 is add, right? Once you add, you get your answer in improper fraction. If you get your answer in improper fraction, it is good practice to write it as a mixed number. So how do you write it in mixed number? You need to divide 47 by 6. So let's do it again here. We have 47. Let's divide it by 6. So 6 goes in 47. What is 6 times 7? 42. 6 times 8? 48. Well, that is higher. So we'll go 7 times. 6 times 7 is 42. And the remainder is 5. Therefore, we can write 47 over 6 as 7 whole, 5 remainder, over 6. So that is our answer, right? So step 4 is write in improper fraction, right?
So what do you write in improper fraction? Write answer in improper fraction. I hope you understand the process and see how we have done the question. Okay? Thank you.